nine eight. You want the experience, comic culture, and sales. Streaming live daily to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Hello, everybody. Guys, welcome back to the morning show. I know we missed last week, but we're back again. We have a ton of great books, some X-Men, X-Theme, first appearances, costumes, Ghostbusters, cartoon stuff, hot Transformers, Cobra Commander, and a slew of other books. We'll see you in a minute, guys. Welcome back, everybody. Happy Thursday. Glad to be back. Has everybody been keeping up with X-Men 97? It's been fantastic. But first and foremost, before we talk about comics and anything else, we'd like to thank everybody here at The Experience who makes this opportunity, you know, uh, available for us. We love you guys, the team behind the scenes. So thank you very much, everybody at The Experience. We appreciate y'all. You guys are in town. We are Jam Comics. My name is Jeff. John's not going to be here with us today. Uh, maybe Saturday. That's what we got going on so far. Uh, we are located 770 Route 15 South, Lake Hopacong, New Jersey. Lake Hopacong, Jefferson. We're right across the street from the diner. So if you're in the area, do us a favor. Stop in Thursday to Sunday. Say hello, please. Right? We have a, a ton, a ton of great sellers throughout the course of the rest of the week. Tomorrow night, we have Nick's art show. I believe it starts at 7 o'clock. And Fat Jack's, guys, it was moved from Sundays to Saturdays due to Easter. They're going to run from 4 to 6 right before our show. And then we're going to take a little break. Then we run the nighttime. So bookmark, stay tuned, subscribe, make sure you're following. Again, besides the three of us, there's just a litany of amazing sellers here. So make sure you're getting down on that. All right, guys? Hey, Phil, what's going on? How are you? Let me just adjust my computer here and make sure we're prepared, and we'll share some more stuff. So right here, we have Nyx. This is number four. This is her second appearance, guys. Nice, clean, high-grade copy. I have that marked at 50 bucks. We would do 40 Now, what we do here on the Experience for Jam Comics, and it's only on the Experience, is we give exclusive pricing. You're only going to find that here. Then the second thing we're going to do is we have shipping set at 9 bucks. If you hit, like, seven comic books, that's still nine bucks. If you go over that, it's going to be like 14. We want to encourage you to build a stack that carries over for about two week cycle. It's about four shows. We bill on Sundays to kind of make it easy for everybody and streamline the process. So if you hit a hundred shippings on us, that's the goal. Fingers crossed. We can build you a nice stack of comic books. We uh, pack it safely, securely. And if there's any issues, just reach out. We're always here to make it right. If there is anything that you claim, guys, please click that bitly pinned Type in all your information. Just be very specific about the books that you do claim. If it's this amazing, amazing second print, First Bishop, X-Men 282. Just write X-Men 282, second print. Thank you, guys. All right, so enough about us. We'll talk to you guys. Oh, and that's the other thing, too. We've expanded our Saturday night show to two hours. It used to be an hour and a half, but the last couple of weeks we've been running for two hours, and we're going to continue that two-hour cycle. So our time slot is 7.30 to 9.30 on Saturday nights. So just make sure you're there. All right, let's get this going, guys. So we talked about this. We have just an awesome Wolverine Sabretooth cover. It's X-Men vs. the Marauders. Super cool book. Super cool. New stand edition. This is a mid-grade. I have this for 10 bucks. And then last but not least, I believe this is a mid-grade. Let me just double check. This is the first appearance of Omega Red. And let's just see the grade on this one because I don't recall off the top of my head. This is going to be a nice mid-grade copy. Some dirt on the back cover you can clean off, but for sure. Resurrection and the Flesh. Awesome book. So what do we have here? 50, 10, and 10. Guys, why don't you take the stack for 50 bucks? You're buying one. 
and then you get the two. So buy one, get two free, $50, halfway to free shipping, claim it. Phil, what's going on? How you doing today, man? Appreciate you for uh, jumping in here. Excuse me, and happy Thursday. 50 bucks for the set, the table. We like to do table deals. You're buying one book. You're getting the other two. That's a $70 value, guys. $50 plus shipping right now. We'll count it down. I'm going to keep building stacks out. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we'll keep showing you awesome books. Some assorted titles, some other things, different price points. So you let me know what you're looking for, and we'll keep it going. All right. We'll move this one down. Stack that to the side. And anything that you see is also available at all times. So right now we have... I believe this was a early sinister Madeline. Um, yeah, the Inferno Ignites. They're covering that arc. Nice clean copy. I have a ten dollar price tag on that. What do we have here? First and second print X Men Alpha foil with your card. Five bucks. We're gonna throw on behind that another five dollar Alpha. Boom. We'll keep that there. And let's dig. Let's find another X-Men. That's some Superman. That's Jim Lee. It's a Spider-Man vision. You know what? I like this cover. That's X-Men enough for me, guys. So what do you have? 10, 20, 30. Uh, bu -bu -bu high grade copy. Sharp. I feel like your second print is a mid-grade, but your foil copy is clean. It also the foil pump with the card. So first and second print X-Men Alpha. Whoop. These stands, I always knock them over. And then you have a new stand. Let's check the grade on this guy. Vision and Scarlet Witch number four. It's got a date stamp on the back on the top, right above that young man's head. Off white page quality. But look at some of this. Look at some of this. This is awesome. Magneto, Master of Magnetism. So badass. Wanted video game players for arcade action. That's cool. I love reading everything else. Ooh, Scotty in a Cracker Jack story. This guy's is a 6 0 newsstand. We had it. It's a 10, it's a fiver. Take the lot for 10 bucks. You buy one, get the other two free. $10, guys. Let's go. Ooh, let's mix this up a little bit. This one's a good lot. Has anybody been reading the new Transformers, Cobra Commander, Energon Universe? Guys, that series has been outstanding. I do not know if you're fans or G.I. Joe fans or Transformer fans, um, but they broke it down. You have Void Rivals, which is a story of just two um, alien races that are, that are battling for centuries um, that may or may not have been created by the... Quintessence. So there's, that's a cool little thing in there that they're building into the Transformers lore. Um, it takes place early, early on, pre-movie stuff. Really cool. I'm just a big fan. Check that out. We'll clear this, guys, if nobody's in on the mutants. We'll keep it going. I wish I had, like, one of those conveyor belts. It could be like that Jamiroquai video the entire time. Alrighty, so we're going to start with Cobra Commander. This has been probably my favorite uh, title and series in the Energon universe so far. Then I'd probably Transformers Duke and then Void Rivals. But guys, I, if you want to get on board, get on board. Only maybe a couple issues in. I think this is three issues, seven. Void Rivals, maybe six or seven. I think seven. And Duke. They're coming out with a Roadblock and Scarlet as well. And here's the DreamWorks, older, older, Transformers number one, Megatron. Is it a wrap around? It might be. Let's check that out. So, Phil, what's going on? Guys, everybody here, thank you for hanging out. We appreciate the, uh, oh, this is, this is a nice Decepticon wrap. Appreciate the support. Oh, 
There you go. So that's ten. We got a twenty-five dollar sticker on the lot, right? This was ten, ten, and five. Take it for twenty. If you guys want that. What else we got there? Boom. It's an eighteen little TV show. There's some McFarland detective. This is supposed to be a Marvel pile. How did that get in here? What else? Punisher number ten. Awesome, awesome Punisher Daredevil battling cover. Sam Wilson, Captain America. This is one of my favorite Bob Camp covers. Conan. Bob Camp drawing Arnold. You guys should find the get this signed by Arnold and Bob Camp. It'll be one of one. Come back at nine point nine. Ooh, some Daredevils. Nice Miller Jansen cover with the Gladiator. Daredevil, very compromised. This is one of my favorite covers from my childhood. Return of the Sinister Six, Eric Larson. That just, it just sticks. Doc is so intense here. So intense, and I have a newfound love for Dr. Octopus and the Superior Spider Man, which you should also read. A bunch of Jim Lee covers, some Secret Wars. We have a uh, reset. I think this was the action figure pack in for 129, but it's just a reprint, retells the story of the first appearance of the Punisher and the Jackal. Doo -doo -doo. This is one of my favorite covers. I get a very matrixy kind of thing with all the little monitors there. The Infinity Gauntlet, number four, number two, I'm sorry. Newsstand. Awesome cover. George Perez. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got some older Flash. Some Adam Hughes covers, some Luke Cage. This is just a nice little mix. These are some of my favorites. We used to have the uh, heroes. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the friends, the family. When it was actually Pete versus the Spider-Man and the heroes and the villains. That's a cool variant. The direct versus the newsstand. Five bucks on that. Phil, did you get your books yet? Let's clear the table. Let's go into something else. I always knock these tall ones down. We just might have to go to two and then me, I can just talk about things. All right, let's see what else. Let's throw, ooh, let's throw one of these up. We got the Marvel team up. My friend has the printing plate for this, that's crazy. Uh, new stand, 141, that's a VF plus, has not been cleaned or pressed. We are at 55 on that. Let's do, show something else here. This is a high grade, near mint minus, near mint, near mint minus 9092. New stand has not been cleaned or pressed. $225. Last time we said 200. So there it is right there. That includes free shipping as well. And let's find something else cool, black suit. Let's go with this guy. This is just a smaller copy of the Amazing Spider-Man 300. I believe this was a Amazing Spider-Man 2 DVD pack-in. I don't want to lie to you guys, because if, if I do, it stays on the internet forever. So please correct me if I'm wrong, fans out there. We have 100 bucks on that. Super awesome. Let's check this out. Nice little retelling. 2006. Super awesome. mini book. So there it is. What do we have on the table? This is a bigger lot. $355 for the for the table here. Take it for $320. How do you feel about that? That's a good lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Just getting over a cold, so I apologize. Take a sip of my water. We'll leave that one up for a little bit. What else you guys like to see? Maybe do a little pivot. We'll do some Star Wars. Almost have a complete set. 
both of these, but I really like these covers, so we're going to mess around with that. Let's see what else we have. We have a wall of Spider-Man behind us, so if there's anything you see out there, please say something. Some venom in hand. What's that dark mold? Ooh, let's throw that one up. People like that. Always a shiny book. Gets me every time. Let's do some of that shiny venom. Let's do... Hmm. I feel like I had venom everywhere else. There you go. Let's do one of these. I'm so short. I gotta be on my tippy toes already. How bad is that, guys? How bad is that? All right, so great deal. We have the Spider-Man 300. What is it? It says, not for resale. Believe Amazing Spider-Man 2 pack. And that's 100 bucks by itself. Shipping included. <clears throat> it's just a smaller reprint of ASM 300. First full appearance of Venom. We have the first black suit. This is a 9092. Has not been pressed to clean newsstand. $200 on that, guys. Again, shipping included. Then you have your... Black suit in the Marvel team up title. New stand. This is a VF Plus. Same thing. Has not been pressed or cleaned for 55. We said take the table for three and a quarter. Shipped. If not, those are your individual prices. These two include shipping. This does not. So it'll be about 63 bucks. We're going to clear that in a minute, guys. So let me know if that's something that you like. If not, we'll keep moving on. Phil, talk to me, man. How are you? How are you, Phil? What is going on? Another mini comic. Let's do an early Spider-Man lot. <clears throat> I think that's pretty gnarly. And we'll go with that. Okay, so we'll clear these out. What else are you guys into collecting? Action figures, video games, VHS tapes, cassette tapes, is the records. I really like action figures, G.I. Joe's in particular. Probably my favorite. Uh, let's go right here. Absolutely love, love G.I. Joe's. Okay, so we got a little lot of Darth Maul. These are nice and clean. About nine O's, my best grading guesstimation. Two copies of number one. Look at that nine O. Yeah. 20 bucks a piece. We'll do $10 if you're interested. Same thing across the board, 20 and 18, we do 10 apiece. These are just really gnarly, dark wall covers. We don't have the number four, this is number one, two times, two and a three. So we'll put those up here. If you're interested, you got the dark malls. We had a couple Venoms. We had a little movie theater giveaway, AMC. I think this has a little bit of wear on it, guys. Yeah, a little bit on the back. But that is your back cover. We are Venom. A little prequel, Tom Hardy prequel. Venom on the streets. Trying to find out what's happening. There you go. Custom Sony Pictures, 2018 Venom English comic number one. There you go. Boom. So we got that. We also have a Venom Lethal Protector number one. Very clean copy on that. Had that at 30, but take the pair for 30 bucks if you're interested. We'll get rid of this tape. We'll show you this venom. And we'll keep that moving. Oh, yeah. A very, very nice copy of this. Scotty Pippen on the back. Yeah, that's sweet. So we have 30 on the pair. That's a high grade copy right there. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So we got 30 on that. Guys, these are 10 a piece. Take the lot for 30 bucks. We'll do uh, those two. $30 a piece. Then we'll crank out something here. A little bit bigger. This is the Amazing Spider-Man number eight. Now it has a repo cover. We'll show you that, but this is complete. You're paying 150 bucks for a coverless copy.
Nice. Zooms 500 feet in three minutes. That's wild. Presents really well. Again, complete. Has new staples or newer staples. Just to see how it looks to be. There he goes. Comes off a little schmutz. Your backup story. So it's, again, it's nice copy to get as a placeholder. You are. It's got a little dog ear right here. I'll fix that for you. And then the back cover. Just so you see. So we got 150 bucks on that. If you're interested in making an offer, I would do, you know, I would do 125 right now. On that, if you're interested, again, repo cover, first appearance of the living brain. All you uh, first appearance Spider-Man collectors out there, you got that. So 30 bucks, 30 bucks, 125. That has shipping included. First appearance of the living brain. That is a, I'm um, sorry, a repo cover. I always say facsimile, but that's not it. Let me take a quick sip. Excuse me. <clears throat> Again, thank you guys for joining us this morning. Getting over a cold, so I apologize. Um, oh, yeah, my, my kids got sick, so just kind of run through me. I do apologize. I sound a little congested, and I, and I have a small cough. Anywho, tons of great books. Jam Comics, Lake Hope Pack, 770 Route 15 South. Please stop by, say hello. We're here all day today. All day tomorrow, all the way through well, Sunday, we're closed, but typically Thursday to Sunday, you know, Easter holiday. Okay, what else we got here? Some Alpha Flight, some Space Ghost. Oh, let's do maybe a little TV lot. I like that from before. A little TV, maybe a little movie. Let's take this. We'll move some of this stuff down, guys. If you see something, say something. Thanks to everybody who's hanging out. Again, shout out to my people at The Experience. Run this channel for us. Give us the opportunity to showcase some of the cool stuff we have in shop right shout out to nick he has that art show tomorrow we have a slew of sellers man miss jen joe 360 we're hanging out with Henri. you know we'll do one by one so make sure you tune in all day every day okay mary with children number one this is a new stand nice clean copy you got the whole family and the dog, Buck. Where did I think that is named? Sharp copy, VF. No, this is a 9 in my best estimation. Can be pressed, can be cleaned. What's the first appearance of the Bundy's bag? Look at this. I want that art. Who's got that art out there? Nick, if you can dig this art up for your art show on Fridays, let me know. I want it. Right. Ten bucks on that, guys. Ten bucks. Marry with children, number one. We'll put that on the side right there. Boom. Let's not knock that over. This is kind of cool. We'll save that to the end because I, I, I believe they're doing a Space Ghost. There's an ash can that just came out. So we'll save that one to the end. Have you guys seen the new Ghostbusters movie? I thought it was enjoyable. We have Spooktacular First Issue. Tobin and the Maze of Time, Part 2. Interesting. It's the first issue. Hmm. Guys, this is a 9-0. The Ghostbusting Photo Gallery. Dr. Vankman. Shout out to Sean in Jersey. Joseph and Phila. Oh, that's awesome. There's a photo gallery, gallery of these kids. Oh, and, the, and there's a Slimer drawing. Look at this. Let's go. Better than anything I can do right now. That's awesome. The Slimer game. That's cool. Make a copy of that. Play along with your kids. But there you go, guys. Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters. Number one. Also 10 bucks. Nice copy there. It is juice. Put that up, 10 bucks on that, guys. Married with Children, number one. Real Ghostbusters, number one. And now, 
This is kind of cool. This is what I was waiting for. I really like this. This is an awesome cover. Steve Rude, Space Ghost. It's got a nice little wrap. Has been thoroughly loved. Comico Comic. Nineteen eighty seven. That's awesome. Does have somewhere this is probably gonna be around uh honest three oh four oh it's lower grade, it's ten bucks. Excuse me, if you guys are interested on the table, we have a thirty dollar sticker price on it. Take everything for twenty five dollars. We'll knock off five bucks. Boom. Little TV action right there. We'll throw up these Spider-Mans and let us know, guys, please. So many good books here. Got a lot of sets. You can dig up some of those. That's pretty sweet. All right, we'll move that. Boom. What else we got here? Superman. Love to try and say, what? There's so much, guys. So many books. So just take a handful. What else is in here? Ooh. X Men. Oh, let's go. Got some X Men books. Let's clear this out. Let's go down with some more X Men. I like this cover. Not anything too expensive. It's got a big little, a big little, huh? Jumbo shrimp. It's got a nice size crease here. That's cool. I'm just going to put that up there because I like Wolverine. And I think that's a cool cover. So what is this? Actions. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I like that. Let's put some of these up. Uncanny X-Men, $151. $7 on that. Uncanny X-Men, $152. You know what? We'll move this guy. We'll throw that in there. All right, so 150, 151, 152, what's my price? 10, 7, 15, 20, what, 22? Yeah, 22. Take it for 20 bucks. Oh, I don't like that glare. Take it for 20 bucks. And we'll throw in this guy. Nice little lot. Nice little uh, X-Men lot for you. Awesome. What is that? Out there, let's go with some. <coughs> Do some Moon Knight. Take it, guys. 20. Do some Simpsons. We'll do some Moon Knight. So many books. So little time. Please, if there's something you're looking for far away, I have a large selection of back issues A to Z behind us. We're also at the Fat Jack Shop in Philly. We also have a sister location from the Fat Jacks in Oakland, New Jersey. So if there's anything that you need, we work in tandem with these other shops to try to give you guys the best. And also, too, we know a lot of other dealers, so maybe we'll make a call. Shout us out. Let us know what you're looking for. We'll move these to the side. We'll keep the show rolling, guys. <clears throat> Sounds like I'm losing my voice right now. All right, so we got Simpsons. Bartman, Radioactive Man, Smaller Ash Cam. What's my price on that? 20 bucks. Ten dollars. Infinity covers. So it's ten. Twenty-five on my Simpsons comics number one. So let's say thirty-five, and we have forty-five on that. Take the lot, guys. Forty bucks. Simpsons. This is still poly bag. Still has your poster. You could open it, send it away, do whatever your heart desires. Where are my Simpsons fans at? We also have a couple other Simpsons books if you guys are interested. So you let us know. Okay, what else we have? Some web of Spider-Man, some Visions. I like that, we'll throw the Vision number one up. We have some Moon Knights on deck. Let's see, how about a sorted number one lot? Let's go with the Champions. Ooh, wow, random. Guys, what are you guys collecting? What are you guys reading? Talk to me. Phil, are you still with me? I see we got four people hanging. Let us know. Talk to me, Chad. We're here. We're here till, again, 1230. Every Thursday we do a morning show. 
Guys, we have runs, sets, back issues. I have treasuries all above my head. Again, I'm not that tall. And uh, these racks are, they seem 10 feet high. I got to be NBA ready if I want to get something off the top shelf. Keys, you can see behind us. Again, Spider-Man, X-Men, everything in between. Uh, let me just dig into the box here. We have starter runs. If you want to get your reading in, you want to start collecting, you don't know where to go. I'm a little bit wild. If I grab a series, I need it to be consecutive, at least if it's to a certain number. Before I go through, I can't read like one through four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll go crazy. What else do we have here? Then we have little arcs. So Flash, one minute, uh, one minute war, six ninety. I'm sorry, six ninety to six ninety six, and then you have the one shot. That's going to be thirty bucks. I do twenty on that, guys. You know, again, just a bunch of cool different story arcs. If you want to get your reading in, you're into stuff like that. One to nine, Aztec, Ultimate Man. So random. So random. But this is why we read comic books. What else is in here? Let's see. Oh, there's a McFarlane Spider-Man run. We'll put that back. I don't think I priced that one out. There's some Fantastic Four, some Doom, some more Star Wars, some McFarlane's. We have so many comic books. All you have to do is just like disappear for a second. All right, we'll move the Simpsons off to the side. Anybody looking for any Simpsons, shout it out, please. I do have a bunch of those. We'll put those in a box here. And we will, boom, come right back with some awesome stuff here. Ah. Do that. We got a Moon Knight. Ooh, Marvel Spotlight. Let's just slide that down. And a Moon Knight five. So you got a one and a five. And then the spotlight. Let's talk about it. The 28th, first solo Moon Knight. Has not been cleaned and pressed. Let's just get nice. Up close and personal for a second, guys. It's got that overhang. Can you see that? Not on me on the comic book. I don't have overhang. The comic has overhang. All right, so we're going to flip that back here. Nice mid-grade copy. So if it looks like it's flipped in, we just had that tucked in there. We're at 60, I would do 40. You guys take the table, 100 bucks. Okay, we'll call it, call it a day, right? Actually, no, take the table, 80 bucks. We'll call it a day. I like that. It's like 60, 45, 10 bucks, about eight bucks, there you go. I like that deal, that's a good deal. We'll do some Spider-Man, we'll throw a Venom in there. You let me know, people. That's what we're here for. Bring you guys a lot of cool, cool various books. See what we can make happen. Can we bill? By, I'm sorry, on Sundays and we ship pretty much on Thursdays. Um, guys, we're here all day long. So please, shout us out. Let us know what you're looking for. If you don't see it now, you don't have the opportunity to get it now. You can also hit us up on the Saturday show, which we do from 7.30 to 9.30 here every Saturday as well. Okay, so on this lot, what did you say, 80 bucks, $60 our sticker price. That's 105, so 45 and 60. And eight, this is just the throw, I said 80 bucks. That's a triple threat, Moon Knight lot. There you go. Title, solo title, first solo storyline, I believe. Awesome yellow cover. We'll throw that down. You guys let us know. They're waiting on the side. We'll do a little Venom. Lethal Protector number four, high grade. We have the amazing Spider-Man 365. I believe that's a 9-0 on that copy. We can check that if you're interested. Then we have a web of Spider-Man number one. This is a $10 book, guys. I want to say this is a mid-grade, but let me check, please. I absolutely love this cover. Excuse me. Oh, no, this is a lower grade. For sure, a lower grade. This is probably going to be about a VG. 
There's a little bit of water damage you can see on the inside of the cover. Yeah, I have it at $10, guys. Claim it if you want. That's a reader copy for sure. Excuse me. Reader copy for sure on that. All right. 15, 25, and 10. I'll do five on that. Uh, let's see, 30, 40, take the lot, guys, 30 bucks if you're, if you, if you're hungry. Let's do it, if you're hungry today. Excuse me. Oh, thirsty. But there you go, you got that lot. We got some more Moon Knight. Ooh, we got some Dave Stevens. I know you, Dave Stevens, awesome, awesome artist. What do we have here? Rocketeer, Vanguard, some Batmans. Oh my goodness. Let's just move some of these. Because that's crazy. That's a crazy stack. Let's see what happened here. All right, back to the dig. Holy moly, guys. Oh, I like this pile. Clear this out. If, again, if you see something, say something. You let me know. All right, Ghost Rider. How about this a little mask? Number one. <laughs> and number ones. Ooh, a Power Rangers with the card. And check this out, guys. It's a little cool little lesson here. I don't know if you know about this. <clears throat> Excuse me. This book has a, I don't even know, a bar Power Ranger barcode card for a game. Yeah. I get to swipe it. I guess you become a, a, a Zord. There you go, Tiger Barcodes. I had no idea about that. That's actually kind of cool. So it's not complete if you don't have the card. This one has the card. Alrighty, guys. So real fast, it's a good thing that the Ghostbusters don't charge a lot of money. If you couldn't pay, they have to come back and repossess your house. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. your local comic shop to add Battle Quest Comics to your pull list today. Imagine being at a convention and going to an interview panel that's just for you. No bustling crowds, no hours long lines, just you, the moderator, and your favorite comic book creators. Well, this is pretty much that. Miss Jen sits down every week with two comic book creators for a live stream interview about their latest work, and you can ask them whatever you want. It's Talking Shop, Mondays at 5 Eastern on The Experience, Comic Culture and Sales. There's something for every imagination at your local comic shop. Visit ComicShopLocator.com to find a store near you.
Welcome back, everybody. Good afternoon, Jeff. Jam Comics, 770, Route 15 South, Lake Hope, Hong, New Jersey. We are here on The Experience every Thursday morning from 11 to 12.30. We have a night show, Saturday nights, 7.30 to 9.30. We've extended it an extra half an hour. And throughout the course of the week, guys, you'll be able to follow and find a slew of amazing content creators, um, dealers, sellers. You have amazing selection. So make sure you're bookmarking. Make sure you're following. There's a lot going on, and there's so much to consume. So hang tight. Right, guys? Also, tomorrow night, you have uh, Nick, the original art experience, at 7. You also have Fat Jacks on Saturday. They're moving their time slot from Sunday to Saturday. It's going to be from 4 to 6, right before our show, Saturday night. So make sure you're tuning in for that. I know there's a little bit of a change with the Easter holiday this weekend. So, guys, again, thank you, thank you, and everybody at the Experience Behind the Scenes. We thank you, thank you for having us. Again, Jam Comics, my name is Jeff. Thank you for tuning in. Let's see what else we got. Because we're going to go till 12.30 today. Please, if you see something, say something. Um, and if you're in the neighborhood, stop on by. And we'll be here all day long. So, excuse me. You have Deadpool Limited Series number one. Ten bucks. We have the Supervillain Classic Galactus, the origin. I really like that cover. Bob Layton. Super nice guy. Really great artist, in my opinion. And then Todd McFarlane, Spider-Man number one. What is that? Ten. Ten. And fifteen, thirty-five dollars, experience price twenty-five dollars for the table, or buy them individually. All plus shipping, guys, which is going to be nine dollars if you make a claim. Please hit that bit.ly form. Be very specific, name, address. Be clear which book you claim. Thank you very much, guys. So take that price down. Somebody slay that. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So we have the mask. We have some Legion of Superheroes. We'll start flashing some assorted stuff, guys. Some modern keys, minor keys, some spec books. What else? First hand cameo, Eddie Brock. He sneaks up on Spidey. His spider senses do not feel that. The Mercy Sisters, first appearance. Can you guys hear that? Next door. Wolverine number three. This is, I believe, like a low mid grade. It's probably about a 5.0, 6.0 at best. This is kind of cool. I know we have a lot of Martin Jeweler collectors out there. This is a little bit of a lower grade copy of a book, but this is a Mark Jeweler's copy of Thor 405. So you see that there, guys? A little Mark Jeweler action. If you're wondering, I um, this is probably more my style. 17 diamond set and 14K gold nugget design setting. $40 twice a month, 19 payments for nine and a half months. If you're going to get me something, that's what I want. Thank you, Mark Jeweler. And to whoever wants to buy this book, because now I just showed you my fantasy right there. Treat me right. So you go get a $20 price tag on that. I would do 15 Super cool. Little random Mark Jeweler action for you. What's this? What do we got? Dave Dorman. Dorman? Dorman. Dorman. I don't know. They told that. Star Wars Dark Empire number two. Nice little Boba Fett cover. What do we have on that? Eight bucks. We got Chewbacca sneaking up behind him. Insert Chewbacca sound. A lower grade copy of my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one. This does not have the card. You got a $10 price tag on that, guys. Ooh. First appearance of Nebula. It's a very fine, very fine plus. So an 8085 has not been great, uh, cleaned and or pressed. If you like Nebula, Guardians of the Galaxy character, team member in the movies, your MCU. This was, I believe, a new Spider-Man costume. Five bucks. So nothing crazy, guys. Ooh. First appearance of the Rocketeer. Backup story. In comic book form. First appearance of the Rocketeer in comic book form. Comic book form. Sometimes I speak too fast. That's the coffee. So let's check this out. He's also on the back cover, which is pretty gnarly. 1938. 
and Los Angeles is about to meet the Rocketeer. There you go. Let's go, kid. Nice. Then at the end, whoosh. whoosh. Flying away. Let's go, Rockets here. Oh, Mr. Elias, what is up? My man. How you doing today, brother? Happy Thursday. Guys, Elias is a friend of mine. One of my new favorite people I've met. He handles all the streams at Fat Jacks. Um, you, you'll see his pretty face on Saturday from 4 to 6, so make sure you're heading over there to the channel, or this channel, heading over, and, and or even in the shop, if you're in Central City, and I always say Center City, so f forgive me, please, and he, he always busts my chops. I know, that's the flash. I apologize. But come down to Fat Jacks, please. Say what's up, hang out. Let's throw this one up. Let's change the board, guys. Let's see what else. Happy Thursday, everybody. Thank you, Elias. We appreciate the, the love, man. The warm welcomes. Let's throw up some other cool books. Champions number one. We'll slide that one down. We'll check the grades out in a minute. Eternals and the vision. The visions. Multiple visions. Double visions. I know, dude, every time, every time. The Eternals. My favorite thing about this is um, Captain America and the Red Skull battling over the Cosmic Cube and some Twinkies, okay? Classic Cap, Red Skull, Twinkie backup story. That sounds horrible, but it's true. This is a nice copy of Eternals. The Spine... It looks like it was just a little bit rolled when they were printing it and, and manufacturing this book. But it, it the colors pop. Nice striking color images. The back cover, the white on that. Nice clean copy. Again, has not been cleaned and or pressed. You can see that there is a little bit of some creases down the bottom right. You could probably try to pull the rest. There's an issue. I only have the first three. Well, the first one's the biggest one. So, guys, if, you, if you're into this, The Eternals, right, forget the MCU spec. Just read a book. This is a 7.5. You can press it, probably about an 8 .0, but there you go on that one, all right? And what's my price? That's the most important thing. I said 25. Take that for 15, all right? Let's talk about this. The Vision. Tom King. This was an awesome, awesome storyline. Couple issues in this run are, are a low print, so scarce. This is going to be a VF near mint. I have twenty on this. I would do fifteen for this book. Um, R.I.P. Grim Reaper. Let's see. Do we have our digital stamp as well? Pretty sure we do. Yes, we do. So, in my opinion, guys, hot take. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. If you remove the digital stamp, is that like cutting out a Marvel value stamp? Hmm. Good question, right? I mean, digital stamp, it's here, it's placed, it's manufactured with it, right? So if you remove that, is now this book, would that be incomplete? Talk amongst yourselves, tell me what you think. My thoughts is yes, I think it would be incomplete. If CGC grades them, they should check for that. I know that might be a bit of a hot take to some, but no, I don't think so. I think it should be. That's just my opinion, um, right? Because if you're looking for the value stamp to make sure that book isn't qualified, uh, you, you might want to make sure that you have that, all right? Like I have a, a first, well, we might have had, I don't know if it's still here, a first Silver Samurai with no value stamp, and that stinks, right? And, and the books that you have to cut out, um, I mean, what? The Silver Surfer. I'm oh, sorry, not Silver Surfer. Silver Samurai. You're 121. I'm sorry, 129. You're uh, 181. Like, there's a bunch of bronze books getting destroyed, cut up. This is a nice copy. It does have some wear. This was love. From like spine over. Looks really clean. Same thing on the back. Has some defects. You can press this out. This is going to be about a 
6570. Got a crease in the front, too. There you go, champions. Oh. I'm at 20. I do 15 on that. No, it's not about damaging the page, but it's still not complete, right? It's not. If it's not a complete book, then it's incomplete. Green, la green label on the CGC means incomplete. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Still for samurai action. You know about this. This is a staple on the channel. When John's here on Saturdays, he's constantly getting attacked. You see this? I go better this way. That's it. We'll move the, we'll clear the lot out, guys. I'm just gonna, we gotta get an effect where I'm just kicking things and comics just fall down. We are slashing prices, packing prices left and right. <laughs> I can't with you guys. Dude, the power and the wall. If I accidentally kick a leg out and this thing just comes down real time, that would be bonus. All right, let's see what else we got. We got some good slabs. Let's go back to some of these Star Wars books. Droids. Now, Star Comics. Let's just talk about Star Comics for a little bit, guys. It's like a Marvel subprint. Ooh, this is a little beat up. I don't like this. This is really beat up. Is that? Yeah, that's a nice little spine roll. You want to get that? You really want to give this book some care, bears, and fix that spine roll. But dude, Sorry, guys. I got some lame, lame dad jokes. But, yeah. Star Comics, right? Some of those anniversary covers. Um, the Kermit is the hardest one, or most expensive. <sighs> Care Bears, Heathcliff, a bunch of those are just nobody cared about forever. I think there was a strawberry shortcake. I don't know. There was so many of those guys, but this droids one, a little bit of a beater. I'm I'm at five. If somebody wants that. I also have a droid seven. This is a really gnarly cover. Super close up of. Darth Vader's face. My favorite thing about this is the popples on the back. That's what I call Elias at the shop. He's my popples. So if you ever, if you're in the shop at Fat Jacks and you see myself there, Elias, and you hear me, hey, popples, and he comes out, he's like, yeah, what's up, brother? That's just, it's a thing I call him. He's my popples. So shout out to popples. Thanks for joining in. Appreciate you, brother. We should get some laser tag. Chewy. The whole gang telling stories. I like that. He's a bodybuilder. We got some model kits. 1987. Your boy here was five when this came out. This was about a month before my uh, fifth birthday. So there you go. Awesome cover. The reflection in the eyes. I like that stuff. That is, what is that, 10 bucks? Let's see what we got. Yeah, let's do 10 bucks on that. So 10 Five, and I swear I feel like I'm going to sneeze. And this is an awesome cover. <coughs> Pardon me. Boba Fett, the Russ. Classic Star Wars Adventures, nice little Boba Fett story. Nice little crossover on the back. Dark Horse DC. Aliens Superman. So just aliens. Alien. Or alien, aliens. I don't know. He's in it. You get what I'm saying. Here you go. Number nine, April '95. I was 13. Nice clean white pages. Crossover with Planet of the Apes. That's pretty cool. I would just make stuff up just to make you smile. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> He is wild. I've never seen someone, he's like, he's, he's my, I mean, again, I'm not a big guy, but I couldn't fold down into a short box. I can barely condense myself into a long box. So kudos to Eli Elias, man. Popples, man, you're, you're very flexible. I'll give you, I can't believe we just named you Popples real time. <laughs> God, oh man, I love you, dude. So guys, if you're in the area, please stop in a Fat Jacks. I'm there on Tuesdays. Wednesdays, Fridays. So you'll see me tomorrow if you want to come in and say hi.
Please, please do. We're there. So we'll throw this one down. What do we got on the table? This was 15. And this was 15 in itself. Guys, take the lot. 20 bucks. Take the table. 20 bucks. Who's going to be number one? First one to work this through for us. And if not, no worries. We've got a lot of the cool stuff to show you. We'll keep it going. Do you guys want to see some more Star Wars? Maybe we do some TV stuff. Let's see. Maybe a Let's do a video game. Let's do one here. I like this video game. I like this video game. Ba, 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 ba. So many books, guys. I keep repeating myself. <laughs> I didn't think Bob was going to come up on the show either, but it makes sense. He hides in a short box. He condenses himself in a short box and he jumps out. To scare the people, and he goes, Pobbles! Just works, man. It just works. All right, we got Sonic. I believe this is uh, cover B. I always forget. They did a bunch of different covers for this. They have all the different characters behind Sonic, and that would indicate the different print runs. This is a nice, clean copy. I believe this was a near mint minus, so a 9 2. I have this at 30. You could take that for 20. Second print, yeah, there it is. Right? Excuse me, and if you are looking for the other print runs, we have those at Fat Jacks. You can catch us there tomorrow. We got a Street Fighter 2. I like that. And then we're going to mix this up. I said video game. I'm lying to you guys. You know what? No, I'm not. Let's, let's crank this out. I like this one. This is a $100 slab. This is X-Men, Prelude to Perdition. This was a video game, Mutant Mayhem, right? Uh, Mutant Apocalypse. That was for Super Nintendo. Capcom made that. At a certain point, these were kind of tough, tougher to find. I think there was a 9.6 or a 9.8 that sold for like 250. So there you go, guys. Here's a nice little video game lot. That's 100 bucks, shipping included, already graded for you. You could, you know, crack it, press it, shoot it in for a 9.9 pre-screen. You could put it up against your X-Men corner and hug that thing tight when you're watching X-Men 97 because this is already there. You got Street Fighter, which is one of my favorite video game franchises <clears throat> of all time. That's right, Capcom, my friend. This was a Capcom-sponsored video game. Though they, they created, they published it. Um, and this came out before they started doing, like, War of the Gems and all that stuff. They had an early X-Men fighting game that I think this, this is the prelude to that, where it was just, like, a few X-Men characters... Uh, versus a few of their villains. There was a Silver Samurai. I think there was an Omega Red. Uh, yeah, a bunch of a bunch of random. I think Magneto, uh, Spiral was part of the, the, the team. Yeah, yeah, it's an arcade game. Well, it was for Super Nintendo, but then the fighting game was an arcade game as well. And then that's kind of what developed into the Marvel Capcom stuff since they were in the same wheelhouse, right? So there you go with that, that little origin connecting story. Again, that's not all the facts, just the rough around the edges story. Street Fighter 2. This is one of my favorite, favorite video game franchises. I love it. Anyone plays the original one, let's play. I have the arcade one up at my house. You're welcome anytime. This is going to be about a VF plus, a VF. There's a couple little creases. Yeah, this is an 8 for sure. Um, white pages. Front cover presents nicer than the back cover. The back cover has some defects along the top. It's not really crazy about. And a little crinkle here as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'd say about an 8.0, maybe an 8.5. But we got 10 on that. So 100 bucks right there. Go for the two. Take the pair. And that's shipping included. So second print, according to my popples out there in the internet fantasy world. This is a nice, clean copy. Let me show you this, guys. I'm going to say this is a 9-2. The only issue with this is there is a little bit of a color rub down here on the back corner. That is it. Everything else looks clean. The white cover is nice, sharp. Yep, second print, 2018. Take the table for 120. I like that. 120, that's shipping included, guys. You have nice little video game theme lot, X-Men, 
prelude to perdition. Number one, CGC graded, nine two white pages. Street Fighter number two, Sonic the Hedgehog second print. One thank you, one one twenty. I like that one twenty. Let me get a sip of my beverage. Somebody claim that that's got shipping included. Oh, and we'll leave that up for a second before <clears throat> somebody claims that. Excuse me. My voice is going, guys, and I apologize. It's going to be one of those days today. Voiceless Jeff talking to everyone. Okay, so let's keep this moving. 120, three books. One of them is graded. Awesome, awesome book. Go buy this for all. You're going to be paying at least half the price. Don't know what the grades are going to come back. Then you got to pay to get it graded. The work is done. You're buying one. You're essentially getting the tree fires will throw in a ten dollar discount more because we have to ship it so sticker value hundred and forty bucks 120 let's clear it if you guys want to claim it you know where to go we'll be back in one second right here boom 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 let's take that let's go with some daredevil Ooh, i like this ff we'll take this oh, okay time to crank this up guys we got a lot of cool stuff here I appreciate everybody hanging out again, everybody at the experience, the team behind the scenes who makes this possible for not just Jeff Jam Comics, but everybody throughout the course of the week to be able and have the opportunity to stream for you guys. Super awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll keep saying until we're blue in the face. So we have an early FF. This is 28. That's an Avenger X-Men team up. I'm sorry, uh, FF, geez, uh, FF, I'm thinking of the number nine. FF X-Men team up. Um, don't sleep on these books, guys, in any condition. The MCU is clearly building towards this. Years and years ago when I first started selling comic books, oh my God, I'm over a decade, which is wild already. Um, the selling point used to be get it before it becomes an MCU movie. And that hype, that speculation, I feel like it's kind of, mm, it doesn't really drive the market anymore since the, the movies have been kind of, uh, average, you know, and, and again, draw your own opinion. I go see them. I like them. It's just kind of overall, but something like this, if, I don't know if that's their first team up or an early, um, or versus, but it's going to happen guys. They're going to have that one moment where there's the, in the panel, that's me in the panel. And then this is me on the TV, big screen. And everyone's like, Oh, I got to get that cover. Right. That's, that's me. That's me stretching. Then everyone's going to want it. So, guys, there it is. This is a low-grade copy. FF28, FF X-Men, 100 bucks. Nice little team-up on deck. I love this cover. I absolutely love this cover. Slide this down. <clears throat> Fantastic Four, 72. Let's get up close and personal, please. Look at this. The colors pop. Crispy, crispy. There's a little indentation you can see. We can press that out. So I believe the issue in here was my center fold. Let's just double check. That is correct. My center fold top staples loose. You got Zappa crazy eyes. All right, detach it's detached. So you can see that. All right, so that's what that is. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this. Boom. Who has that? I want that. Couldn't afford it, but I want that. 100 bucks. Fantastic Four, number 72. Beautiful, beautiful cover, guys. Another fight thing. Troll called them. The two center fold were detached. That's what that was. So that's a low-grade copy. I would do 80 on each of those if you're interested. Okay, what are we at? What are we at? What do we have here? Some lower, uh, well, lower, 113, 114 lower grades. These are ten dollars a piece. There you go, guys. You got that. And then we're gonna tag it on some other stuff on the back end here. FF two ten. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. FF two ten, iconic Galactus cover, guys. And what's even cooler about this? Let's sneak back around. You get prizes or cash.
back cover needs to be cleaned. The book definitely could use a cleaning and a pressing. Some small little scuffs on his leg. Off-white pages. In Search of Galactus. This predates me by three years. There you go. Marv Wolf and Jinko and Dracula. Look at that, guys. It's the big G himself. Guys, look at these. Look at this art, man. We don't get stuff like this anymore. We need more of this. Keep this going. Mm -mm. So we got 15 on that, guys, if you're interested. That is issue number 210. 210, that's about a VF+. Plus. And this is a cover that, I believe it's 112. But that's just, this is a re reprint of the cover. That's... Marvel's Greatest Comics, Hulk versus Thing. What do we have on that? Ten bucks. Retells that story, guys. Yeah, FF112. And then they are. The Thing. Two behemoths. Steven Spock, what's up, man? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. That's a new, new name. And thanks for joining, man. My name is Jeff. Thanks for tuning in. We are Jam Comics here on The Experience every Thursday from 11 to 12.30. All right, so we're just flashing some FFs. If you see something, say something. We're going to start 100, 100. I would do these each for 80, 160 for the pair shipped. 20 bucks, 15 bucks for the pair. Throw it in. Let's build a lot out. That's some more FF books. Again, you see something, say something. Let me get a sip of water. Excuse me. Oh, Kenneth, what is up, brother? How are you? Thanks for joining us, Kenneth. Happy Thursday. Oh, excuse me. Guys, I apologize. I'm just getting over a little bit of a cold, and I just seem to be a tad bit congested. So I apologize in advance. Let's go for something a little bit more random. These are something that I just think is super cool. Um, this is a definitely a hard pivot, uh, what we normally do. But let's just talk for a little bit, guys. I think this is definitely interesting because you, a lot of people don't really grade some of this stuff. Um, the Mario Brother comic books and the <clears throat> wrestling comic books right here, guys. The Nintendo stuff in this. This was some of Valiant's earlier earlier comics that they had put out. Jim Shooter was the uh, editor, editor-in-chief, I believe, chief and editor. Commander and captain, master and commander, but here, let's, let's check this out. This is the coolest thing right here. Can you guys see that? Who did the art? I know there's a glare. Can you guys see that? Who did the art on this WWF book. What's that first name? Steve Ditko. Why in the world is Steve Ditko doing WWF comic books, guys, or prestige books? So there were four of these. This is the complete set. Um, you also have four Mario Brothers prestige books. I forget all the names. Meet the Koopas and a few other people. They might be on the back. They're yeah, on the back here. Meet the Koopas, Battle Against Bowser. Tanga Invades Earth, and Mario's Special Powers, right? So you have those, and that's just gnarly. I don't know, again, what you guys... The Bushwhackers, right? Yeah, Ditko, right? Remember that time Ditko drew the Bushwhackers and the Nasty Boys? Like, who's... They're out there. There's somebody who's got a plethora, a treasure trove of Ditko art, and they have this next to something that's absolutely bananas. And guess what? I might take this every time. Because how much did he actually do? He, he's like, oh, I've drawn all the major characters forever. But the one that really sticks with me is, you know, I drew uh, Luke and whatever the other guy, Bush, the, the Bushwhackers. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. Imagine, like, you're in the room, Disco's doing this. It's like, how do I get stuck with the Bushwhackers? Why can't I have Hulkamania? So you can wait till I get my hands on you. Who did this one? Paul Credit and Stan Drake. Okay. 
But like you could put Steve Dicko on the Ultimate Warrior. Come on, Mr. Shooter. Shooter. Who's on this one? Nicholas J. Oh, there we go. We got a couple bigger names. Oh, Dave, David Lappin. Don Perlin. Nick, Nicholas James. That's awesome. Yeah, David, Stan. Like you couldn't you couldn't give I, I'd love to have a Ditko original art cover valiant ultimate warrior. Luke and Butch, what I say? Jab and Stan? I think so. I'm like, oh, you know the Bushwhackers, Rick and Dave. Sorry, guys. I'm a little silly today. So that's just cool. Again, you don't get to see that all the time. It's something completely different, something completely random. Just figured we mix it up and show you some of that cool stuff. We'll continue with some number ones. Ba 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 ba. Red Wolf, Ghost Rider, I like this one. I, I, you know, I have no idea what this is. B and Puppy Cat. It's a Hastings variant. I got a very hench girly kind of vibe when I saw that cover, and then I looked it up, and it turned out Jeff and John, the Jam Whackers. All right, he's just going to throw stuff at me. I'm just going to start knocking comic books out of the way. It's going to be amazing. So, again, I had no idea what that was. I just decided to throw that up there because it's cool. I looked it up, and it goes for 40 bucks. I would do 25 Wow. B and a puppy cat. Oh, guys, which bear is the most condescending? A pan. Duh. We'll see in a minute. Live from New York. Uh, what? Oh, sorry. Uh, live from Cleveland? It's Friday night? It's Friday Night Live! With Nancy McCann. And Ricky. And sometimes Carlos. And featuring boxes and boxes of rare comics. Unique collectibles. Lots of smiles and conversations with new friends. Friday Night Live with Comics Unlimited. Friday night from 9 to 11 on The Experience. everybody jeff jam comics thanks for tuning in the experience we're here thursday every thursday 11 to 12 30 and if you're in the area lake opacong 770 route 15 south guys excuse me mix it up a little bit um elvira doorway to nightmare and then a carmen san diego but we'll get back to that in a minute if you're new to the experience guys and we run thursdays this time slot, 11.30 to 12.30 on every Thursday. We do a night show on Saturdays from 7.30 now to 9.30. We extend it in a half an hour. 
Thank you guys, the experience for uh, allowing us to be on your airwaves, your information super highway YouTube channel. Guys, not just us, but there are a plethora, a slew of other sellers and great content creators that are provided to you on the experience. Miss Jen, Nick, my man Elias, Fat Jacks, 360, uh, Mint Hunter. Check it out, please. Stay tuned. There's just so much in store on this channel, and it's going to just keep growing, I promise you that. So line up, sign up, do whatever you got to do to make sure you're part of the experience because it's going to be amazing. No pun intended. So my ASM, let me just check that out, please. And I'll tell you in a second. Let me pull that up. Yeah, I mean, this is a nice copy. I mean, it's a VG. Again, did not get clean or pressed. We purchased it in the collection. First Kingpin, right? Spider-Man Origin Retold. You got an Ed McMahon, uh, Johnny Carson cameo, which is pretty cool. Just to see the back. We'll throw this up for you. Let me just check my spreadsheet. I don't know why I didn't tag that. Amateur move on my end, but let me get that. So you guys really think it'd be more of a, of a, of a Jim Duggan thing? Because they do this. And they're always, like, with their tongues out. But I see, like, you know, you got your 2x4 uh, bit. Uh-uh. Let's see. Where is my... Why am I not allowed? Amazing. Spider-Man 50. Four oh, do, 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 do. that's my two fifty two number. Well, it's pulling up now. You have a two piece, guys. This is gonna be thirty bucks for number one, number three. I would do twenty bucks on the pair here, and then these are ten dollars a piece. Just Elvira, House of Mystery, number two. They are lower grade. Just to give you a heads up. Uh, I am, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm high on my kingpin price. A little aggressive. We know we're typically good on our prices. I am a little high on this. Um, if I'm going to be completely honest, you don't want to buy this book from us. Because it's a, we're overpriced on that. Um, I did buy this book in a collection recently that I did pay a little bit more than what I wanted for. Truth be told, I don't typically like slabs. Uh, and when the market adjusted, I was stuck again. So I am a little bit high on that, brother. Um, I just want to be honest with you, Maverick, and you've done a lot of business with us, so we appreciate you. Um, let me move a couple other pieces from that collection, then I can adjust my price on that. This way it levels out. So, yeah, because I think GPA is like five and change. I'm probably at like 750 roughly around that price. Um, and it's got a... a I, when I break my collections down, I always highlight where I'm at. So, you win some, you lose some. So, I apologize. Bushwhacker, Hacksaw, Jeff impersonation. Dude, I would love to see that. If somebody prints out a comic book and they show that me, amalgamation, amalgamation, can't, can't speak today. That, yeah, oh, dude, totally. I will honestly say that that was a book I paid too much for. So let me sell some of my other items from that collection, and I'll be able to lower my price. Okay, what else we got there? Some Daredevil. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. And it's a newer book. I don't want to take a loss on that yet. <laughs> See if we can make that up in another way. All right, so... Superboy, Detective, some Batmans. There we go. All right, so now I have some Daredevil, guys. This has like a weird factory printing error. It has two extra staples on the inside, but they're not, um, there's no holes on the outside. It's weird. So it's stapled and then stapled. It's just strange. Oh, dude, no way. Oh, my nose. Um, I, you know, you, you guys can tell by everything we sell, we price accordingly, right? I always want to check on my, my slab books or anything that we have more expensive just to see where I'm at. And in this business, which is a wild thing, so again, I've been doing it for a while, sometimes you pay a little bit more and you just kind of got to get there. 
if I do pay a little bit more for something, I try to offset that and minimize my losses by moving some of the other pieces of the collection first. You know, but this is a big book. It is a first appearance. It's massive eye candy. Um, but, you know, I, I'm probably going to take it down and just tuck it away until we, we can get to that price, let it marinate, so then we can charge something that's fair market and it doesn't, it doesn't impact us as much. But, again, that's just business, right? That's how you operate. So, and, and uh, Maverick, you've been a loyal customer so far, so I don't ever want to mislead you. That's how we've been able to be in business for a decade plus. That's why our reputation is what it is, man. So thank you for inquiring. I just wouldn't be able to sleep at night if we price gouged you. So with that said, let's move on to some other books. This is one of my quintessential 90s books. This is a really cool recalled cover. Dude, thank you for tuning in and thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. This is a nice 9-0 newsstand. What I love about this Supergirl cover, aside from it being the movie, is you have, look at that. Twin Tower, shout it out. Super cool. Super girl. And you have your error. Error, 10 bucks. There is a little bit of a dog ear on the top. It breaks. And then you got the breaking of the bat. Kelly Jones, my man, plays mind games with Batman, just walks into his house and breaks his back. That hurts. That hurts. Someone with a bad back, I understand Batman's pain. I feel Batman's pain. But you got to stand up. You got to hold your ground. Bane ain't walking into my house, slaying me. I'll tell you right now, I'll stick my kids on him. Where's your bat family? We'll keep these guys 10, 10, and 10 across the board. Take the lot, 20 bucks if you're interested. Any new old X Men? Well, you, are you looking for Silver Age X Men? Um, I did get a small collection of Silver Age books in. They're low grade, like beater copies. I did not get a chance to process them yet. Some of them were missing covers. Some of them were missing pages. I kind of did put that off just because some of that stuff is a hassle and a headache. Excuse me, very time consuming. Um, but yeah, if, you, if that's something you're into, let me see what I can put together for Saturday. Um, but I know definitely we have some coverless, lower grade stuff at Fat Jacks as well. But like, what's old X-Men? Uh, Matt, give me a number. Give me a number, please. Oh, excuse me. All right. First, King Shark. Nice copy. I have 25 bucks on that. Let me clear that out of the way. All right. We have Detective Comics, McFarlane, Martha, Wayne. There he is, Smoking Gun. Did we just become best friends pre-1? one uh, Let me check real quick. I thought I did the other day. Not much. I got a one a low grade one nineteen. Some somebody must must have cleared me out because I did put a couple other things in. This is like a super low grade one nineteen. Rusty staples. Um, it's like a VG minus. There's about an inch tear in the cover. I would do fifteen if you're interested. I don't know if you're particular about your grades, but that's a filler issue for sure. For sure. So you let me know right there, brother. Moses Magnum. Make way. That sounds... What a guy. Oh, my God. Moses Magnum sounds like... Death no fillers. You're absolutely welcome. Sounds like someone who owns a couch. I hope you get that reference. Or a bus. Uh, Batman number 367, guys. Just an awesome Poison Ivy 15 on that. So some Batman stuff. We're going to close this out with a little bit of DC love. I don't care what you say. Everybody needs some DC love every now and then. So 15 on that. We're going to move that to the side if you're interested. We got another. That's a 25. We'll do 20 on that piece. Nice sharp copy. Boom. Superboy. 25. We'll do 20 on that. First King Shark. Sylvester Stallone. Up next, we got a Mad Love. About a 7 if my memory serves me correctly. I got a $50 price tag. We will do 40 I like that. All right, next up, Batman 570. Clean copy, early Harley. What do we have on that? 20. 
what do you say, 40, 20. Nice Harley cover the code to Detective 737. Let's, let's just make sure my mathematics is right. I've only had one cup of coffee. So this is what, 35, and I said 40, 75 bucks. Take a lot for 70, guys. 70 bucks, let's go. If you're interested, 70 bucks. Have fun. Nice little Harley Quinn lot. Doesn't get any better than that for the Harley fans out there. $70. What we are at? What's my retail? 50, 20. These two are 70 alone, so you're just buying two of two and getting one. I don't even know. It's backwards in reverse land. This is like Bizarro World. It's the mirror dimension. So we got three there, guys. Off to the side. Let's keep it moving. We got a Superman 123. First, what is that? Lightning Superman. Live wire. And then we'll throw this up. Turner sketch. So what do we at? Eight dollars. Twenty-five dollars. We'll just do these two for twenty-five. And a fifteen. Let's take everything for thirty bucks. That's a three piece for thirty. Why not? What the heck? Let's throw in a Batman detective, a jock cover. Nino. My sticker price is fifteen. Get that for ten dollars, guys. We'll put that in the lot. That's right. Shocking books. They're electric, these prices. <laughs> I felt like Danny Zuko, gong. It's electric. <sighs> Showing my age with some of that. All righty, guys. Let us know what else. I'm going to do a quick tour. You'll get to see me up close and personal. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. So, guys, check us out. I did. There's some holes in the wall. I was pulling stuff down. We've got piles and piles of stuff. But, again, back issues for days. If you guys are interested in posters, we have older posters for sale. Already framed, matted, the whole bit. Super, super gnarly. Some magazines. Maybe we do a magazine show next week. We'll figure it out. But, again, guys, we have... A large selection of back issues, so please, if there's something that you see, please say something, because we are here twice a week, and uh, yeah, we're looking to bring you all new collections every, every week, lots of cool books, oh, sorry for my hand, but there you go, you get to see that, so guys, as always, we're getting ready to wrap it up, we do an hour and a half here every Thursday from 11 to 12.30. Once we're done, there's people all day. Miss Jen and company, guys, great books, great content. They have different artists, writers on in the community. So please make sure you're staying tuned for everything that happens on the experience. Tomorrow night, you have Nick's art show, the original art experience. It's at 7 o'clock. Then we have another show, I believe, at 9 o'clock. I forget the name. I apologize. I'm getting old. But you want to stay tuned. There's, again, a slew of sellers. And I keep using the same word because there's just this plethora like my sweaters friday night live there it is boom nine o'clock friday night live well that makes sense it's friday night and it's coming to you live on the experience so that just perfect sense and then saturday you have fat jacks that's right that's right fat jacks and jams fat jacks is moving its show from sunday to monday this week due to the holiday easter so it's 4 to 6 on Saturday. Then we'll be around 7.30 to 9.30. We got a two-hour time slot window, guys. Again, thank you to everyone who tuned in. We appreciate you. Thank you for everyone at the experience. Had an amazing time like always, guys. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon. Have a happy Thursday. Join the party. Head over to our link tree to find all the links for everywhere the experience is all the time.